Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to perhaps begin with a little bit of the state of the planet and what, what is happening in the Ascension timeline. It seems to be a very popular thing that many spiritual beings are feeling in different ways, Ascension symptoms, but also kind of just what's going on? What's the latest thing that you're downloading in terms of how we are and, and where we are in this? Okay. Um, being the sound girl, <laughs> I'll give you a sound <laughs> explanation. <laughs> Um, I liken the frequencies of time, and yes, indeed, I believe time is a frequency and can change. That's why sometimes time seems to fly and other times it seems to slow down. I believe that it's um, a very huge frequency so that we don't get to see much of the segment. But when you read ancient histories and the ancient mystery schools, they talk about a sequence of time, like a golden age and the masters walk amongst us. And even all the Indians, they talk about the different worlds and how these worlds start out in harmony. And then as time progresses, um, the, the different changes get closer and closer together, and they also get increasing dissonance. And that mirrors a harmonic chain in sound. Exactly. So if you were to liken time to a sound or a frequency, and it has a harmonic chain, then we're at the end of the harmonic chain. And that's why John the Beloved wrote about the terrible things that are going to happen about now. And that's why Nostradamus is saying these awful things um, are predicted for about now. You can even read in the same secret doctrines, and they talk about this time, this time of trial, and they even talk about the towers falling. Okay, that's um, 77 AD. And so one of the things that I've learned from sound is that when things are in harmony, um, you know, you can have more power, and the masters and the angels can walk amongst us, and we can all be uplifted. But in the past ages, according to the ascended teachings, they say that, um, you know, we allowed them to do the heavy lifting. And when, you know, the time went on and the frequencies got more dissonant, they were too kind of high-powered. To They didn't want to fly. They, they couldn't walk amongst us. And we didn't pick up the ball and run. So this time, my understanding is that there are going to be some really high-powered, fabulous beings that lift us up. And perhaps they're listening on this call. It's going to be us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, yes. yes. And um, so that in a time of dissonance, dissonance in a way can be looked at as positive, you know, good or bad. But I really see dissonance serving a purpose. Um, what has come before us is um, tragedy, is sickness. Um, our lands have experienced war, arguments, and all kinds of deception and deceit in worldwide governments. And think of as, as a person lives a life involved in that. They're not separate from their environment, and that's been proven by science. Yeah. We interchange with the, the air, with the chemicals on our lawn, for goodness sakes. And so all this settles into the ground. 
And when you get to the end of a platonic year, which is now, according to the Mayans and many other spiritual traditions, and when you get to the end of the harmonic chain, it's very, very dissonant. Yeah. And it's what like that whipping, serves, yeah, 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 whipping in the wind. I kind of think of like a long in, rope. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough, and mm. it continues to get tougher. And what it does is it think of it like um a ghost hand, I like analogies, and the little ghosty hand digs itself into the soil and starts taking up all the garbage, goes into institutions and starts to expose the crap. And quite <laughs> frankly, we're not yeah. exempt. You yeah. know, so any little thing within comes mm. out as well. And that, that doesn't necessarily have to be horrible. It could be a beautiful blessing. It's like we're cleaning up for the high energy that's going to come in. And another misconception, um, if you think of a platonic year, 26-some thousand years, it's a long time. You know, our earliest written histories are 3000 BC, you know, a long time. And if you could liken a platonic year to just um, a day, then you would find that, like, dawn happens over 30, 50 years, if that makes any sense. You know, like if you were to take 26,000 years and put it and divide it by 12 and put each one of those sequential numbers on a clock, then you'd find that the time period of between now and 2030 is but a second or two. And when you think of dawn coming up, it's not like we go from black to white. No, 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 no. First, there's one ray of light, and then there's two. And when you get a handful of lives, you get people listening to You Wealth Revolution. And yeah. there, are you there, Terry? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, we can't really expect to have all this cleared up shortly because we're in the, we're in the dark, cathartic days. And, you know, we can't undo that, so why not enjoy the bath, you know, getting rid of our that stuff we don't want? Yeah, like interesting. Them. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and as you decided to plug in to certain frequencies, um, particularly the frequencies and some of the mystery school information from ancient Egypt started to come into your field. Now, it's interesting now. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it came forward during this time and some of these truths started to get unearthed, as we shared before? I, I think there's a nexus in that. Um, ancient Egypt was a power for 3,000 years. Most of us, I believe, have had many past lives there. Okay. Um, think of our country. I mean, we're not even 1,000 years old yet, not even close. No, no, so no. We've, we, we have these memories, and yet we don't. Hmm. So it's like with, with, with um, past memories, lifetime after lifetime, and I would think mostly priests and priestesses are listening because they're attracted to the spiritual knowledge, the, um, the knowledge about life after the death, the knowledge about ascension that they learned from their forefathers. So that's our listening audience. That's who you and I am. And we've had these past lives. And in that, we know this works. We yeah, know yeah. these powerful techniques that are older than the Egyptians, taught by their forefathers, that these are from very high, high beings. These are very powerful and they work. And so we know. It's a knowing. It's very deep. We know that. And then science says, up. Oh, it's all superstition. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like I think those people that are drawn to ancient Egypt, um, it's like they can't contain these subtle energies of these past lives anymore. It's like they're so curious. It's like an itch. You know, you have to scratch it. Yes. And when you do, what you do is you find truth. You find an exercise, and it's like, it feels good. I've had people mm. go through the classes portion, and some of them are like, oh, 
when I was with ISIS, I was home. And the next, it's like, oh no, it wasn't ISIS for me. And that's because those are our memories. And it's like ancient Egypt is singing a tune with her magical secrets. And we know it's true, yet it's like right out, we're in this dream, and it's right outside our fingertips. And I believe that that's going on along with the advent of quantum science and just science telling us there are multi-universes. There are multiple dimensions. There is quantum entanglement. And they are proving Many of the Egyptian, quote-unquote, superstitions is simply quantum physics. Wow. Yes, indeed, it does wow. work. So both of these things are calling us, I believe. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna to get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one, live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.